When we discuss that story, our focus is usually on Peter and the fact that God gave him a breakthrough. Where he failed, God made him to succeed. But I see it a little bit beyond that. When those fishermen caught fish, every morning the women would come and, and people that sold fish would come from the surrounding cities to buy the fish from them. Their not catching fish that day was not just the failure of the fishermen. It was the failure of all those retailers. And the deprivation of the people that lived in the surrounding towns and cities. There was no fish. God is interested in business because business meets people's needs. Business solves problems. So, when God gave Peter that miracle, it was not only Peter that he gave a miracle. He gave all the surrounding cities and towns miracle of fish so they could have food to eat. Amen. Amen. Your business is of interest to God and also of interest to the devil because it's a platform for changing people's lives, for affecting people's lives. If you, as a Christian, don't see that dimension to business, don't see it from a strategic viewpoint, Satan will hit you hard. You won't understand why. What is the big deal? And some of us have been hit hard. What is the big deal? Why all these challenges? It is because business is spiritual warfare. That's the scenario that we have in Zechariah 1. Four horns, principalities, entities, scattering Judah. The thief comes not but to steal, to kill, to destroy creating havoc. God's solution, craftsmen, professionals, entrepreneurs, skilled people. Amen. So you must see your business as a ministry. If all the vision you have for your business is survival, that's why the likelihood that it will die or fizzle out is very high. And some of us are supposed to do business because it's only survival we're thinking about. That's why we can't even catch the vision. God has big things that he wants to do. God wants to change people's lives. He wants to change the values of the society. It won't take long for you to realize you may not create a lot of changes without financial capacity. If you want to produce movies, you will need funds. You have some scientific innovation, you need funding to get it to the market. You want to run a sports club, you need funding to do it. God wants you to make some changes in the political arena, you need money to win election in Nigeria. Yes, Am I right? Yes, sir. All your grammar will amount to nothing. <laughs> That's the reality. The poor man's wisdom is despised. His voice is not heard. You just be speaking grammar. It is the people that cook amala. Who take care of stomach infrastructure. <laughs> Those are the ones that win the election in Nigeria. 